Hey everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, this is an R1200 GS Adventure. It is, well, pretty well farkled. Uh, you've got the uh, puppy grips here, the Sargent um, heated seat controller, you've got the double take adventure mirror on an SW Motec mirror extender. You also have a controller here for the front and rear uh, Thinkware dash cam. And finally, um, did I mention the advanced hand guards? And these things here go up and down. It's kind of nice, you know, they, they're, they're pretty solid uh, and they're great for um, keeping some wind off your hands because they get so big. Uh, and over here is a piece of Velcro uh, which was used for the um, the Hippo Hands Alcan that I have on the bike. Now there's a previous video on how to install those but just as a refresher I'm going to bring that to you right now. Here they are. You've got the Hippo Hands logo right there. So uh, as you can see this piece here undoes you undo this here, there it is inside, and then you bring this over like that. And this Velcro hooks in right there, and then everything else just kind of buttons up like that. So you've got, and there's like another piece here as well to strap around, but you can see here uh, that's basically. That's basically the entire thing. And so when you're riding along, you've got your hands in there, all your controls are still accessible. Uh, I use this when it's below, basically below freezing, uh, just like today when it's uh, uh, below freezing outside. And so this is awesome. Um, Hippo Hands, the makers, reached out to me and said, we have a new model coming out, do you want to test it? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. So they sent me this, let me show you. So let's unbox these guys. Okay, let me see if I can check this is all frame here. So, new logo, instead of being uh, just a sewn piece of paper, it's actually kind of a rubber. You'll see here you've got this really nice thick sketching. Also, this is a reflective panel. Not sure if you can see that or not. You've also got reflectors built into the front right here. And you'll see you've got a really much harder, almost firm uh, front of the piece here. Uh, and it's 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 uh, sewn in a way where it's actually not exposed. You've got this sewn. It's actually sewn inside, which I'll show you in a second. So this is the uh, this would be the left hand hippo hand. So it'll sit like this on the bike, uh, more rigid all around. Uh, you've got thicker um, plating pleating here for the um, the wraparound sewing. You've got a little bit of orange exposure inside, and you've got this uh, cross hatch, cross stitch looking stuff on the inside. Um, the neoprene is now all through here, where before it was just um, like a vinyl, like a thin vinyl. So you have much more, um, uh, just a better wind protection here. And then, yeah, here's your on and off removable Velcro piece, piece right there. Um, wow, I mean, this is just so much nicer, seriously. Um, I mean, if you look at this side by side with the other one, inside there's very little seams uh, as far as the construction. You've got not as thick of uh, sewing on the edges, and this is not rigid. It's the same material as everything else. Uh, no reflectivity, you had to pay extra for that before. And then you have uh, a slightly, this looks a little bit stronger actually on the top, maybe I'm wrong. And then you've got, just got this flimsy, you know, plastic vinyl stuff for the edges. I mean, this is just fleece, basically. So um, let's get this installed on the bike on the GSA, and I'll show you what it looks like. I am so, so excited to have this installed on the bike. There's both side by side. You can see here how the two compare and look. Here's the front. And you can see here that neoprene versus the fleece. It's just, it's just such a nicer product. Let's get it installed. So it does something super cool. So in the past, uh, you had to inst actually glue on this Velcro adhesive onto it, uh, onto the side here, um, which just gets gummed up with all kinds of fleece and stuff eventually, and it just sort of melts onto your hand guards. Uh, this is completely non-destructive. It has, let's see if it zooms in here properly. It has a, um, there we go. Uh, it's a grippy side on this side, and then you're just wrapping it around the bar over here. Come on over. So we're just gonna take this here, this uh, Machine Out Moto handguard needs to be in the lowest position for this to work. 
and actually it's just barely too much on here. This is just too thick by a smidge. But that's okay because I already have the previous guard. So if you have the Machine Art Moto Advanced Hand Guard, my advice would be when running the Alcan, unscrew these two bits here, unscrew the screw in here, and take this top piece off completely. That there, and then this can wrap straight around. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our new Alcan. We're gonna take it right on the side here, push it right into place. This is so much nicer than the previous version. Oh, and that just feels good. So we've got a slight air gap right there. But here's the, well, let's, let's unhook it and I'll show you guys. So for my setup here, um, as I mentioned earlier, I've got a lot of controls on my right hand side here. And so uh, the Sergeant Heat Controller seems to be the biggest problem. As you can see, there's a little bit of air gap right there. Uh, it's just because the C controller is kind of in the way there. Um, but other than that, wow, look at this thing. So it actually allows perfectly to have my um, dash cam control right there. This can even maybe come over. If I can get this over this bolt here to strap in, I think we actually would solve that problem. Here's the thing, it's gonna still keep out <laughs> like almost 100% of the wind. Um, Look at that, man. Isn't that beautiful? And there's the inside. Now, we're about four weeks from riding season starting up here. Uh, I don't take the GS out until all the road salt is gone. But um, I can tell you guys that this is going to be a monumental upgrade for me. Um, I hope the Hippo Hands people don't ask for this back too soon because I want to actually try it out for a couple of months and then mail it back to them and then I'll probably just end up ordering it. So I think I'll put my uh, my Gen 1 Alcans for sale because um, this is clearly superior to that. Um, yep, yeah, that Velcro holds nicely there. There's no gap on the inside there. Full access to all the controls. Yeah, very nice. If that hard sergeant heated seat controller wasn't in place, it would be a perfect fit. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hippo hands, thanks for sending these out to me to try out. Um, I think they're just leaps and bounds better than the uh, previous version. I love the built-in reflectivity. I love the improved construction. I love the rigidity of them. Looks like you also made the, uh, the pads a little bit thicker as well. Um, the interior fleece lining. This is a setup that um, when it's like below 40 degrees and I'm doing like a, I did a thousand mile iron butt ride with my hippo hands uh, installed. And when I woke up in the morning, it was 35 and raining. And when I got home, it was like 48. Um, and I wore them all day. And it's incredible how warm my hands were all day. I mean, my body was pretty cold. Hands are warm. So thumbs up for me. Um, yeah, and by the way, guys, I've got another uh, Hippo Hands to review, the uh, Hippo Hands Enduro, or no, Backcountry, the Backcountry. Um, those are going to be reviewed onto my new motorcycle, which comes in any day now. Any day now. Actually, real quick, let's put these over on the F750 and see how those look. One second. So here are the, uh, here's the F750 GS with the Barkbuster Storm, which are taller than the normal VPS. We're gonna take the Hippo Hands piece here, put the uh, scratchy side around this side right here, and we're just going to get that down like that. So, uh, this is the Alcan. So you have the same gap here. So it's not so bad uh, having that gap straight through here like that. 
Um, again, it's still going to block majority of the wind, but I gotta order another pair of these for Heather. She's gonna she's gonna want to keep them on the bike. <laughs> and unfortunately, we can't uh, we can't each just have um, one <laughs> hand warm and then at the next rest stop change hands. <laughs> that wouldn't work very well. All right, guys. Well. Thank you for watching. This has been the uh, Hippo Hands Alcan on an F750 GS and an R1200 GSA. Rock on.